characters that crop up in yeah. uh, amateur tournaments. Interesting to see. But yeah, we're gonna go to game one here. We got time. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Please stand by. Uh, it's just water zetter. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's like, you know... Rondo and Zetterburn, that's just Sub-Zero and Scorpion right there. Yeah. I mean, they're even on the box art. Okay? That's, that's for you battle. and Captain. That's like, you know, that's... I feel like they're destined to fight in Losers, at least. But yeah. I'm very excited, to, I think, to see how Kurosagi plays, because... I don't think we were able to get uh, any information on mains for them. Man, updating takes a while. All right. So apparently for my stream thing, it will never show Ori for some reason, uh, which might just be for the better. But you guys you need me to send the, you the, the Ori file. Right there. I don't know where it went, <laughs> but it's really, it's a lot funnier if it's not there. Alright, y'all y'all take it away. Dokuyo versus his demons. <laughs> but yeah, game one, going to Jules Vale. I don't really got a lot to say about this stage for either that character. Really. Yeah, it is a classic, yeah. It's like, I don't think anyone hates Jules Vale. It's funny how both of the stages with moving platforms are starter stages. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, but it's also kind of evil. Oh my gosh, these combos! That was, combos. A, that was a great combo. pickup. Yeah, that was a great pickup. Yeah. Right there, like that down tilt. Ori is definitely a reaction test. Like, if you are not prepared for him, he will run you over. Yeah, we're seeing uh, Dr. Fizz obviously going for a. Uh, trying to whiff punish with a. Uh, Charge flame, but really just doesn't seem to be working on Doki. Yeah. And there we go, yeah. Uh, bubble and recovery. It even like has the small timing mix up of like the hit pause you get when you hit it with that beat. Oh really yeah, good. nah, nah, it's very important. Like if you you really need to like learn how to use it to stall. As a, <laughs> you know, if it, like I actually always got respected because even if it doesn't work, you always have to appreciate like the bravery and just like throwing out tongue in neutral. It's like, that is a definite glory attack. And if you get it, it's like a free 30%, so... I mean, the worst thing is, like, if they parry it. Like, there. <laughs> but yeah, at a high enough percent, just looking to tack on some extra credit, so... Did a good job there. Yeah, it, like, I definitely think his Ori, it's like, this is a character where it's like, you're really, like, you're, you you not want to give Rano an opportunity to, like, charge needles, very nice, nice forward strong. You don't want to give him an opportunity to charge needles, maybe, you know, set up a bubble, get behind it if he's at, well, at a high percentage. Because, uh, like, because the thing about rat, like, Ori is, like, you, you know, you really eliminate space between you and your opponents. I could definitely see that. And the thing is, you just don't want to give an opportunity for them, for, uh, your opponent to, like, build up those walls. Yeah, Ori, like... It's interesting, because Ori really doesn't have a conventional piece of stage control. And, th and this is something I always, I always say, but like, you know, people argue with me. People unironically, I, I like, argue with me about this. It's like, you know, people are like, oh, Ronald's like a rushdown character. Like, like I'm like, no, you play him however you want. Like, if you want to play hard defensive, that is a viable play style with Rano. Like, you can hide behind bubble, spam needles all day. It will pull, it will get you uh, work done. But yeah. Definitely saw it, yeah. Uh, Doku was definitely playing a lot more aggressively, which definitely seems to be the play, but Doku just always had that counterattack, so it's going to be interesting seeing how these next games develop. And in game two, we're going to Tower of Heaven. Going, the counterpick being a starter stage. It's a classic. <laughs> yeah, you love to see it. Personally, I think like the plat boost that Ori gets it, like can really like carry him. It can be very hard to react to. So you just spam, you know, up air on those platforms. Oh, we saw that. Like right now. We saw that charge flame edge guard right there. Yeah, finally, actually, 
We saw him going for it before. Let's see if it keeps up. But definitely getting, like, landing all of these charge flames now. The first game, it definitely seemed like they were, di like, just a little bit off. Yep, and oh my ooh, god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It's like that edge guard, you just get half of it by attacking on, like, seven up airs in a row. But that back air catching You know, sometimes you just get done like that sometimes. Sometimes you don't, you just take seven back airs in a row. It's like, that's the game we play, but. Bringing it right back to even, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, that's already speed right there. Yeah, Running yeah, away you're... from Rano Tongue and being back in time for yeah. dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, even if it's it's actually not a great move in my opinion, but it's satisfying, like, the Ori uh, down, down strong. Yeah, I mean, if you cancel it with a sign tap, then it can get I'll a lot of that it. It's better, but, like... Up front catching, not exactly killing here. I can see the stage as a counter pick because uh, Ori Upstrong can also cover that top flat there if they if they think they're going to get a tech situation. But yeah, now it's a uh, now it's them not DIing up air correctly. It's seeing like you might think we're getting flack for uh, not DIing stuff correctly, but it's really hard. Like especially Ori up beat or up air, I get wrecked by that move a lot. And we and you, you gotta admit a lot of the DI in this game is like really counterintuitive. Yeah. It's like weird angles you gotta hold out on. Yeah. Like with Model Four Air, if you don't hold like out and up, you can get like another follow up basically guaranteed. Yeah. There's a few spikes in the game where you actually have to like DI down. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. You. It's like maples, I think. Ooh, but yeah, taking that. Just a lot more of a convincing game there. I'm not sure exactly what changed in that set, but we definitely saw a more like consistent edge guard in sign uh, charge flame usage. So yeah, I think it's I think it's like getting your confidence back. I think in the first game they were being very uh, conservative with their movements. You know they weren't really going out there. In this game they're being a little more aggressive, and I think it really paid out for them. Yeah, especially for Doctor Who, because uh, he's definitely the one that's been uh, like starting each of like the encounters, like. Being more confident in your approaches definitely helps a lot, Azori. And now for game three, this is the, uh, Mr. Oasis. Counter pick. Yeah. Crystal Oasis, which is, don't tell anyone, it's just Forest Floor. <laughs> Seeing more of these edgeheads here. Yeah, you, got, you gotta love the uh, detailed backgrounds, though. I love all the new stages, to be honest. Like, they put some, like, you just gotta respect the sprite art. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was mm. Yeah, look, this, this edge guard is, this is definitely the difference. Yeah. Using the bubble, unfortunately, just a bit too much. Oh, that, that was a catch. That was oh. a cool catch. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's too much yeah. you can do with your, your invincibility, but, you know, I couldn't think of a better way to do it. Use it. What we're seeing yet. Yeah, just. If it's been throwing out a lot of aerials, and it's just. Doctor Who has been maneuvering. Especially, like, I'd say. I've noticed them maneuvering around platforms, doing plaid drop aerials, stuff like that. Yep. Being very tricky with their movement, which definitely and I'm helps you. Liking strong. the positioning of sign. Very, like, that's super important, especially in this matchup. Yeah. Really taking advantage of Randall's poor recovery. That was a good air dodge there. Yeah. You know, so you've been seeing Doctor Who get the edge guard. He's definitely capitalized super hard on it. I'm really loving all these uh, charge flame usages here. But, you know, Dokio still could bring it back. Like, hitting these needles, hitting these tongues. Like, if, if Doctor Who has, like, a good stack of needles on him, then we could see this being brought back. Yeah, but yeah, this is like it's, not, it's a heavy character. It's like you know, if, if Rano, especially against you know lightweight like Maple or Ori, nice tongue sling, gets you know a full stack, you know that's that's kill percentage like at, like on a uh, successful punish. Yeah, on pretty much any percent you get that on. Ooh, but yeah, we're getting the first bash of the game. There it is. DIing in on neutral air. It's very Calvinistic. That'll be game you hate three. Love to see it. 
You... I saw it. <laughs> saw it have before my very eyes. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. Dokio definitely needs to get around this edge guard, or like just get a lot better on right, his punish game. Four on blazing rail. Yeah, the neo blazing rail. It's the dark future. There's dubstep. It's <laughs> everything's dubstep in the future. Let's just slip past that one, but yeah, look at those up air strings, consistently sending back off stage. And yeah, we see that right there, a very good weight with a uh, flowing out bubble. Yeah, Tong, especially on this stage, yeah, Tong might not be the play, because, uh, I mean, it's, it's really just, you gotta think about it like two stages that you're covering. And that'll be another Nair Bash. I, I think something that a lot of Riles, Riles players do with Tong is, like, they'll just do, you know, the strip, like, Raw is hung in neutral. I think if you're gonna do that, like at least you know, do it like slightly in the air, just so you're not like helpless for uh, for 500 frames. Yeah, that's you. that's true. Yeah. You see, because like 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 that like that what you just saw right there, where it's like you can just hit the stage, but then you can just you know, uh, wave wave lands back on stage. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I'm this is for another one, but yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't really hard that time. And then that one works. <laughs> but, yeah. Barely misses the sling. I will say, Doctor Who does seem to be taking much more advantage of this uh, counter pick right now. Seems very comfortable with that top flat. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, Ori has great reach, you know, like, can absolutely just throw an aerial, throw that up, up strong. Yeah, these platform nares are very scary here. Yeah, and the problem is, it's it's. I think it's a little bit too tall for Rano to like uh, take advantage of. Yes, yeah, counter pick. Like, love the music, but I don't. In this matchup, might not I mean, be. Me personally, like you know, like hideouts, a rail, like it just ain't it for me. Oh, but here we go. Getting more up airs. We have seen what <laughs> Tokyo can do with an up air. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very nutty up air one string last game. I would love to see some more of that. Oh, right here, yeah. Was not able to get back. And also just up being on a stage in free fall is probably not the best option in story there, but but you probably out of a lot of options, so yeah. That's going to be Doctor Who moving on to winners round two. Going f uh free one. Yeah. Oh hey, the tourney card updated, nice. Alright, I think wait, with that are we moving on to winners finals with losers states? All right, I'm just talking to the man behind the curtain. Don't worry. So yeah, I'm gonna see the Silv versus Zetter. It's gonna be very interesting. But yeah, we're definitely gonna see how uh, these two Rana. <laughs> I just realized both of the Ranas got knocked into losers here. I'd say yeah. Just Ori was just really like way too fast for Dokio to keep up with. It seemed pretty rough.